12 years ago, I picked up our first investment property. It was up on the Hamilton Mountain. It was, we bought it, it was a fully detached house. We bought it for about 235,000. At the time, didn't know if it was the right move, but I just wanted to take a step in investing in real estate outside of our primary home. And today, I'm actually in a house that a client of ours just picked up, and it's a fully legal duplex, and this was about a million dollars. So fast forward 12 years, it's gone up more than 300%. I know a lot of people have investments in real estate. It's typically your primary home. But really, when your house goes up in value by 20, 50, even 100%, are you any further ahead? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. But at the same time, I'm actually excited. As I said, I'm gonna take you through this house, show you some of the features and what you wanna look for if you're thinking of picking up an investment property. Let me start off by saying that this is not your typical reno, at least the, the quality of it. Um, but a lot of the things that they did are pretty much the standards of what we look for when we're buying investment properties for our clients. So everything from really updating it. So this has pretty much all been new drywall. Uh, but what they did here specifically is they got rid of the wall that was in here, really opening up the kitchen, making it look way more grand, uh, adding the island with the waterfall edges. This is all done in Caesar stone. Even the staging was really, really clever. Uh, because there is no really formal dining room, they actually staged this area here with a, like a dinette area. Um, we've actually even asked the existing listing brokerage if we can use the existing photos to advertise for a tenant. So this is definitely gonna help us create additional interest and even get a good quality tenant that's gonna pay a premium. Um, in here, this would have normally been access to the basement. So this unit has no access to the basement. The only way you can get into the basement is through the separate entrance. But in here, you do have a separate washer dryer, which is really nice. Um, and again, for it to be a legal duplex, each unit has to have its own washer dryer. Then you have your entrance closet here. Um, but some of the things like in the kitchen, this is more of a higher end custom kitchen that you wouldn't see in a rental, nor do you need to have these things. But they have like each corner cabinet's got the Lazy Susan. It's definitely bigger than most kitchens. Uh, even on the sides of the stove, this is really cool. They did the spice racks on either side. When you open up the pantry, again, you wouldn't see this normally in a rental, but you got the pullouts. So really, really high end. Generally, a rental is gonna be from about 180,000 to 200,000. We're here between the landscaping and everything that they did in here, and even on the infrastructure between the uh, sound densing materials, the resilient channels and the ceilings in the basement, they probably spent here closer to 300,000. So if we go down, there's gonna be three bedrooms. Um, all the bedrooms are really nice sizes. You do have your linen closet, all new doors, trims. Um, and then in here, you'll notice that we, there is a separate hydrometer. So there's actually two individual meters for this property, one for the upstairs unit, one for downstairs, so they can have the utilities directly in their name and they're responsible for paying that themselves. And then in here in the washroom, really, really nicely dressed. But instead of just taking a separate tub and just leaving it pretty simple, they really give it this wow factor by adding the glass, which is super convenient when you're taking a shower and also avoiding from getting water on the floor. So we're gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna show you the downstairs unit, which is just as impressive. Probably one of the most impressive basement units I've ever seen. So the only thing about this basement apartment that feels like a basement is walking down the stairs. Once you get in here, you definitely have no idea that you're in a basement. It really does feel like it's a 2,000 square foot home with this kitchen. Generally, in a basement apartment, you would see a kitchen that would have a banquette no bigger than this back wall area here with a fridge, stove, and a sink. Uh, and when you look at this kitchen, you know, with the peninsula, with the breakfast bar, all the custom cabinetry. And again, when I talk about cabinetry and custom, you'll see it's got all the pullouts. The, uh, the lower base cabinets, instead of them being doors, they're all drawers with pot drawers for great storage. They did the Caesar stone countertops. So really, really nicely done. And I love the fact that they put the kitchen in the front of the house. A lot of times you'll see it more tucked towards the back. Here, now in the back, you have two bedrooms on either side of the unit that really mirror one another. And if you walk around this way here, you're gonna see this is where they have their living room. So they have an area to put your TV. But at the same time, a really nice area for like dining. So if you're entertaining, uh, and then in this section here, uh, it's going to be one of the bedrooms. The other bedroom looks exactly the same, so I won't bother showing to you, but really nice closet space. 
in all the rooms, nice ceiling height, and then plenty of space to put like a queen size bed with your nightstands on either side. When we look at the washroom, the washroom again, similar to the one upstairs, where it's really nicely appointed as well. They did the same vanity backlit mirror, a really nice tiles with the glass around the tub. But outside of the aesthetics, what's really impressive about this unit, and I gotta give the, the builder huge credit, is when you look at the ceiling, they went with a much thicker drywall. They also did a resilient channel and they also did batting insulation. And what that's gonna do is gonna give you a lot of sound density between the two units, so you're not gonna have any conflict between your tenants. Plus it's also a lot safer in terms of that fire separation. So, like I said, this is an absolutely amazing basement apartment. This is probably gonna set a new precedent for rent. We're excited to see what kind of tenant we get and what they're gonna be paying for it. So that wraps up the tour of the house. However, I think what's more important to take out of this is not what to look for in investment property, but it's why you would want to acquire an investment property. With real estate going up, I talked to a lot of people about their primary homes and they're super excited their house went up by 200, $300,000, whatever it is. But are they really up? Because if they have to sell and they're gonna move, the house that they're gonna move into also went up. So that's why it's so important to have a secondary investment within real estate. So, um, and when you look at that, let's just look at the numbers, even on a property like this and what would happen over a short period of time. So this property, for argument's sake, let's say is a million dollars. Somebody puts 20% down, they're gonna have a mortgage of 800, but they're gonna have 200 in equity in the home. So let's say the market moves again and it goes up. And if it went from December of last, like basically of 2020 to now, and it went up 25 to 30%, let's just say it takes another two years, three years, four years for it to go up the exact same amount, another 20%. That means that this property would go from 1 million to 1.2 million. That means that his originally equity in the property was 200,000, and now he's got 400,000. So even though the value went up by 25%, his equity went up by 100%. That is the game changer. And that's why I really encourage friends, family, and clients to actually look at having an investment property. If you guys need more information or have questions, you know how to reach us. Until next time.